Hello again, fellow Game Masters. I'm Richard Quiner, and this is the RPG Daily. We're back in kind of a different place. I'm not doing the standard stand up in front of the camera and talk about a topic. Today I'm actually doing more of a something I'm trying out, so bear with me as I figure out how to do this thing and I get my arm muscles able to hold this camera up a little better. I'm doing like a vlog thing. I'm going to talk about some a project I'm working on, which... If you've seen me on Twitter or anything, I've mentioned the RPG Writer Workshop, and actually I participated in this poorly. I poorly participated in this back in June, July of this year. I signed up, I paid 35 bucks to do the course, I read through most of the course, I got busy and fell off the bandwagon. Um, this time, I decided to do it again. They came around again this November. I signed up, I paid the full price because I want to get all that juicy lessons, I want to learn more. Um, and so now I'm actually trying to do it. But instead of just talking about how I'm going to talk about it, I'm actually talking about it. So today I'm really just talking about the first step in the adventure creation process that I'm learning about and it's kind of cool. And I want, I'm trying to find a balance, I want to share some information with you without sharing too much because I respect the people who created the RPG Writer Workshop and I don't want to take that lesson away from them. So if it seems that I'm being very vague about the process, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be vague about it, I'm just still learning it myself and I would prefer if that's something you really want to dive into for you to go ahead and take the course yourself. Um, just because they are the experts, I'm not an expert in this, I'm still learning it. But let me show you this project I'm working on. If you remember back in when I last participated, now I've turned around and you just have a whole different view. Um, I talked about my adventure being kind of pirate themed. I actually don't know if I made a video on it. The first couple steps of this adventure is inspiration. That's the kind of the idea, the first steps in the process. So let me show you what I've got going on. Basically, step one of the whole process is I guess decide where you're gonna work and last time I got a little over complicated I had said I'm gonna use world anvil for writing all my stuff I'm gonna use I'm gonna do some cool things and I got too involved in the tools of the trade because you know how I like my tools day videos um, that I haven't made in a while but I started making videos with or I started writing on world anvil and that became a little overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff on World Anvil and you can like dive right in to your world making a lot easier. This time around I said, you know what, I'm just gonna stick with Google Docs. I'm not gonna go crazy with writing my adventure. I'm gonna kick with, stick with something simple that I can use anywhere because I can get Google Docs on my home computer, which is what this is here, my home setup. I can get Google Docs on my laptop, I can get Google Docs on my tablet, and I can even work with it on my phone. So then I also decided for the other parts of the project, such as that I'm gonna show you here in a little bit, I'm also using the Google product. So I'm using Google Draw in order to make a mood board. I'm going to use that to make a mind map a little later on, and I'll show you a little bit of what that is. But let's first, with that aside, knowing I'm just sticking with Google Docs. You don't need fancy software to write an adventure. It's just your brain and the computer, and I'm hoping that will help me make the progress rather than me get bogged down in the bells and whistles of a cool software. Anyway, so my adventure that I'm writing is about pirates, and it's about high-level stuff. The idea being, I wanted an adventure that's a one-shot, or something that could be an end cap to a campaign of seafaring. So I created this adventure where the it's level 20 player. So the characters are level 20. The villain is going to be created. He's also going to be a very high level villain, almost on the level of like the Tarrasque or these, you know, CR 30 creatures that are very, very difficult to kill. And the idea is the players have to hunt down this character, this villain, and kill them on the sea. So as I was thinking about it, I thought who would be the coolest person to hunt down? And I was a big fan of Pirates of the Caribbean 2 third one was meh, but after that they were just garbage. Um, but the second one had Davy Jones. And so I decided I wanted to make a D&D character, a homebrew character of Davy Jones. So that's what I'm doing. It's basically your player characters find that Davy Jones is responsible for some destruction of a village, so they go and have to hunt him down. There's a twist later that involves a kraken, but we'll get to that one at another day. So getting into that, and inspiring myself to actually work on it is 
I do this thing where once I think about something and I know the steps I need to take about it, my mind convinces myself that I've already done the task. And so I don't do it. I've convinced myself that I'm done. I'm trying really hard to not do that this time. That is why I sometimes take long breaks with videos because I, I fall off the bandwagon. That's why it took me almost a year of just talking about making videos before I even actually made a video on this channel. So there's a lot of things that that affects, but I'm gonna show you my mood board and my playlist, my inspirational stuff. So here we go. Uh, this is kind of my mood board. And you're gonna see I have several things. I have a picture here of, uh, Johnny Depp and Pirates of the Caribbean jump into the mouth of the Kraken and I have a lot of giant creatures. I have this guy here because like I said I like Pirates of the Caribbean too so I put Davy Jones in here as inspiration though my Davy Jones will not look like that and I wanted to capture some of the sea battles and the idea of oh seafaring and just really get in on that so that's why I picked some of these images and the Kraken I'm designing it's going to be kind of a homebrewed version so it's not exactly going to be the standard D, D kraken it'll have a different name probably um but that's my mood board that's what's going to help inspire me to write more and do more stuff then you have to have a mo i made a playlist of music now the music i picked a lot of so i picked a few really well-known stuff and i threw in some other music that is lesser known i picked some epic music mixes that were on youtube I picked, of course, some Assassin's Creed Black Flag music, which was very important to have. You know, you got to get your sea shanties in there. And then last, I kind of finish off my list with a whole bunch of uh, Black Sails music. And yeah, I have Lord, Everybody Wants to Rule the World from Dracula Untold, because I think it's cool and it might work. I don't know. Um, and then I have some, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean music. But Black Sails is kind of my thing, because they have the... I want to say it's called a hurdy-gurdy. It has a certain instrument that's really cool that I like to listen to. So that is kind of my first steps is, you know, I'm, I came up with the idea that I've had. I've been sitting on it since June. And then I decided I'm going to follow it. I'm going to continue this path and try to finish this adventure this time. So next time around, I can just keep writing other adventures. So that's my inspiration. A lot of pirate music, a mood board with a lot of big mo sea monsters. And that's basically it. That's what I'm hoping to drive me into completing this project. Now that you're filled in on that, I've been Richard. Thanks for watching.